What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be doing the next stage on build the Ecto-1. So in this one we're going to be doing, well we just did stage 113 and now we are moving on to doing stage 114 skirting rear fender and rear license plate. So with the rear license plate we are going to do the Mike Lane mods so just bear that in mind. It looks like we are going to have to possibly turn this beast upside down to do what we need to do. But what I will do is get all the pieces out and we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, now all the pieces are out. We've just got them all down here and we've marked them off. The license plate is pretty cool and it is actually made of metal. We do have like some sort of stalk here for the piece to go all around the steering wheel and we have a lot of screws and then this chrome bumper section here but what it's saying for us to do the first thing it tells us to do is to make sure that this cable here the blue cable here is telling us to make sure that it is tucked underneath through here there's a little gap that goes underneath it wants it to go under there and what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to flip it upside down so that we can get to it. I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be, but we will try not to damage it in any way. It is very heavy. Right, so we need to turn, we need to flip it upside down so we can work on what we need to do. I'm going to get it to the side. Like the doors don't decide to open like they are going to. This is why you need to be careful. Here we go. Oh, there we are. And as I said, it's asking for this cable here to come around here and sit underneath. So what we will do is we'll take this off here, which is holding the cables in place. Bit of tape. Thing that's trapped inside the door. There we go. And then it's asking us to get 114A, which is the chrome section. I'm just going to go back and check on the chrome section. 114A. So should be this piece here. It's a nice chrome piece here. And it's asking us to put it here somewhere. Is that right? Um, you can see better than me on this one, guys. But I cannot see at all. I might have to come out now, or am I going to be okay? No, I'm okay. It's good. So it goes like that. So the chrome strip goes like that. So there we go. We need to put in an AP screw this side. And then there needs to be a VP, VP and a VP screw to hold them in. So we'll go pop those in and we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, that's all now done. So as you can see, this chrome strip is now here. If I turn it around, I need to do the other side. But I will spin it around so we can see that. And then we should be able to see where those screws went on this way around as well. So that looks lovely. So I don't know if you can see here, you probably can. So in here there's the AP screw. There is the VP. And then there's a VP and a VP. Again, we need to go ahead and do the same on the other side. So let's just check fitment. Uh, this way around. Kind of doing it blind. There's no cables to worry about on this side. So that's fine. There we go. That goes in there. Goes in there. And then there. So that's all in place now. And that's a chrome strip along the bottom there. Again, we're going to fast forward through three VP screws and an AP screw. We're going to go ahead and do that now.
Okay guys, now that is done, this chrome strip is now into place. What it wants us to do, it wants us to work on the bumper. As I said, we will be replacing that at some stage. But for now, it's not asking us to put in that wheel arch moulding at all anywhere. So that's quite a strange thing because I thought that we might be putting that in by now. Let's see if it shows it anywhere down here. No. It does not, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to just lift this up and put it around. And then we wanna grab this bumper section here. And it wants us to put two BM screws in and hold on the license plate. So let's put the license plate in. We want two BM screws, one, two. And then we'll pop those in real quick. I really don't know what I've done with my magnet screwdriver because this will be so much easier with it. Let's totally do those up. As you, as you know, we will be replacing the license plate because we will have the magnetic Mike Lane ones coming very soon, possibly in the next video. So that's now there and so that should look a little bit like that it's very reflective we need to now install it on the back of the vehicle <laughs> so that needs to go in place down here we can still replace the bits that we need to as well as putting this in to where it's got to go But what I'll do is I'll pop this in, pop the screws in, and I'll turn it around so you guys can see it that side in a moment. So let's put that in. So we need an IM and a JP screw. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back in just a sec. So there we have it, guys. They are in place. I want to bring it over so you can see how I'm going to do that. I don't know yet, but I'm going to try. So, this is the rear end, and this is the back bumper there. If I tilt it up, you should be able to hopefully see that in here, you can't really see it very well, but I wouldn't want to break anything off. There is an IM screw that just holds a bumper in there, and then from the back either side, this side, there are two JP screws holding that on. There is also somewhere in here a loose AP screw that I will find real soon. But by the looks of it for now, we are done with it this way round. So I'll try and flip it back over so you can see. It's really hard to do it without trying to break anything off. There's the screw. It's fallen out. Oh, there we go. Have a look at the bumper now from this way round. So there we go, there's a nice bumper this way around. And as you can see, it sits very flush on that. But what we need to do, we need to put this part of the body away and then we need to come back and get out the bottom section because we're gonna be installing the steering wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and I'll be back in just a sec. So once you have out the bottom section of the body, uh, they do give you one of these, even though I already have one, but I don't know, one of them has like a little rubber bit on it. So I'm just gonna go with that. I don't know if you can see, but that just slots into there. And that pushes over the top of the steering wheel like that. And then the steering wheel itself just goes over like that. So I guess you probably need that little rubber to keep that in place. And it's asking us to put a DM screw in to hold that one in. So let's go grab a DM screw. Pop that in the center. So it feels quite nice to have the steering wheel on. Just try not to cross thread this. It's quite easy to get it in. And it's not difficult at all. So we'll just screw this up nice and tight, not too tight. Remember it's a 
steering wheel shaft. Let's lift it up and make sure it works. So yeah, works fine. Left and right motion. It's fine. And then we've just got a little cover to go on there. You probably can't see, but I'll bring you over to have a look afterwards. It's a little cover that clicks over the top and holds that all into place. So that looks amazing. So there you go. That is the end of that issue. I will bring you over at the end after I finish the video off just so you can have a close look at what we just did. It just shows you so much detail about the film in here. Just quickly scoot through. Uh, and the next issue, your parts, uh, issue 31. So we will be doing this in the next set of issues so I cannot wait to do that with you guys. Uh, please, if you haven't already, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you, remember to stay tuned for this bit on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.